Bienvenidos a Armchair Imagineering. Conoces a Miguel? Sí, somos buenos amigos. Look, I'm just as surprised as you are that it took me this long to pitch a Homestar Runner ride. Believe me, I've been thinking about it for ages. I've even teased it in the past. All I can say is I'm sad that there is no Homestar theme park attraction yet, but that may be the subject of a future armchair imagineering down the line someday. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. Ooh, I mean, we already know what the that. Strong Bad Jungle Cruise would look like, so. <laughs> yes, yes. And the time has finally come to pitch it to you. It's a December Ween in May miracle. So what would a Homestar ride entail? Well, you'd probably enter through the King of Town's castle, then you'd wind through a queue that took you past such familiar zones as a peanut-style brick wall, a bit of Strong Badian fence with the occasional bear holding a shark popping up, and a table with an answering machine playing messages for marzipan. After you get to the front of the queue, you'd get to the pre-show room with a rotating selection of possible safety videos, a teen girl squad where the girls disobey the safety rules and face violent deaths, a cheat commandos where blue laser commander disobeys the safety rules and faces violent deaths, a powered by the cheat where Homestar disobeys the safety rules and faces violent deaths, and of course, a strong bad email where a sender asks strong bad how annoying it is when people don't follow the safety rules. So he writes a children's book about it where the children face violent deaths. Then you'd get to the loading station where the music is, of course, It's the loading room. It's the loading room. I can't believe this room. It's all the loading room. And you'd load into the vehicle, which is a wagon. The seats are pancakes. What would the narrative of the ride be? Well, there's one narrative format baked into the DNA of Homestar Runner. It's not one the brothers chaps use all that often anymore, but it's the format the entire world was initially built around. I refer, of course, to preparing for a competition. Your wagons full of pancakes are competing in the championship, so the first room you enter is the gymnasium, where animatronic Homestar is there in his Homestarmy getup, drill sergeanting you about how you need to pour on that exercise in order to win the championship. Do you has what it takes? Obviously, Animatronics Homestar's eyes would be projection map, while the floating spoon would be controlled by very hard to see wires. You then move into the locker room where Animatronic Coach Z is mortarboarding you to hustle for sport. Fortunately, you get out of there before he gives you a good old butt pat. Now, the training montage portion of the ride begins. You enter the obstacle course. Your wagon navigates around the tires as Animatronic KOT hangs in a tire swing. You move around the athletic field while Animatronic the Cheat is hitting stuff with an Animatronic golf club. Then your wagon and climbs up those stadium steps until it reaches the peak, and Animatronic Bubs tells you climbing upstairs will be $5. Then the next portion of the ride is the Free Country USA Race to the End of the Ride. As Animatronic the Announcer announces the beginning of the competition, four reels this time, and much like Radiator Springs Racers, two wagons full of pancakes speed down the throughway against each other. Unlike Radiator Springs Racers, however, this portion would also include brief appearances from characters along the sidelines as you rush past them. Strong Mad will growl at you, Strong Sad is sad that you're racing, Pom Pom is making it rain, and Marzipan and Carol are playing a racing tune. Then your vehicle pulls into a dark dead end, and slowly a light fades up, revealing either Homsar, Senor Card Gage, or the Blubbo's drive through Whale. Whichever character you see recites a sinister non-sequitur, and then the floor below you drops, rise with resistance style. Or if that's too expensive a trick, your vehicle launches backwards, Revenge of the Mummy style. After the drop or the launch, you finally see an animatronic strong bad with a monkey wrench, having sabotaged the track so that he would win instead of either of you. He makes fun of both ride vehicles and says you're all losers. You pass the final room with everybody everybody, and Homestar says he really hopes you enjoyed this tilt-a-whirl. Or some other incorrect description of what type of ride it was. Also, the Halloween overlay would be exactly the same ride, except all the characters are dressed up as other characters whatever park it's in has the license for. So if this ended up in a Disney park, then they'd all be dressed as... Disney animated characters and Marvel and Star Wars characters. If this was in a Universal Park, they'd be dressed as Minions and Shrek and classic Universal monsters. If this was, God forbid, in the Six Flags, they'd be dressed as Batman and stuff. If Paramount Park still existed, they'd be dressed in Star Trek uniforms. And during Halloween, the goblin would be added to the characters you're racing past during the race. Also, whenever the ride breaks down, instead of hearing Exitensio tell you about playful spooks, you'll hear Homestar talking about how your ride is very important to us, and please wait patiently, and then he'd sing... It's the old music. 
Hold music. Then you exit into the cheapest free gift shop where whatever theme park this is in has given them the budget to finally start making those kick the cheat dolls again because some of us missed the window on those the first time. And I think that would be a perfectly satisfying Homestar Runner attraction. Unfortunately, I don't think any major theme park is ever going to invest this much money in an e-ticket based on a seldom updated internet cartoon, so a Homestar Runner ride is unlikely at best. Which is why Homestar deserves an entire theme park, not just one ride, a whole park full of them! Alright, I'll meet you back here next month for my pitch for a Homestar Runner theme park, which is different than Strong Bad's pitch for a theme park. But if you don't want to wait a month, you can watch it on Patreon right now at the link in the description. And in the meantime, you can also watch my other Homestar Runner videos and my other Armchair Imagineering videos. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off. <laughs>